Shalom, Israel. It's, it's going, going down. 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 It's that time again. Come join us at the 49th Annual Passover. Shalom, Israel. My name is Officer Nassau of Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started on 1 West 125th Street and all of New York under Commander Jerry Otter. If you heard the rumors, the rumors are absolutely true, man. You understand? We're going to be having the 49th Annual Passover in Yonkers, New York. You understand? Under Commander General Yohanna, hosted by Commander General Yohanna of the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. It's going to be on 2nd Hudson Street at the Grand Roosevelt Ballroom. You might, you most definitely should be there if you're from the 12 tribes of Israel. You understand? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians only. You understand? Make sure you be there, man. If you're in the South, if you're in the Caribbean, if you're in South America, wherever the hell you are on this earth, man, if you're Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, you should be at the Lord's Passover, which is the only Passover authorized on this earth, you understand, by the Lord, which is going to take place at Yonkers, in Yonkers, New York, at 2nd Hudson Street, you understand, at the Grand uh, the Grand Roosevelt Ballroom, make sure you be there, man, you understand, because we'll be turned up in there, man, make sure you be there, man. If Trump done talked about all the other races, guess who he coming for next? That's right. Never, you black men better think about it, man. He done talked about every other nation except for you. He leaving your behind for last. You, you done walked into America, done start loving white people? Let me tell you, Trump, just like we trying to wake you up, Trump done woke white people up, man. You don't understand what he talking about, man. The white man, he knows he's the devil in his Bible, man. And the devil knows that his time is coming to an end. So he gonna come down on the 12 tribes of Israel, man. You thinking you gonna keep loving the white man? Well, you go ahead. I'm gonna hate him. I'm gonna separate him. And it ain't, I don't hate white people because of the color of their skin. I don't like their actions, man. I judge a man according to his actions. And according to the white race, and according to America, their actions is evil, is evil, man. Like a lot of us, we don't even judge people according to actions, man. You got to start waking up, black man. You next in line, man. He done talked about the Mexicans. He done talked about the Africans. He done talked about the Haitians. You mean to tell me he ain't going to talk about you? Right. When he look at you like the criminal, man. That's right. He look at you like you're the biggest problem of America. You know why, black man? Because you that king of the earth, black man. You don't understand that you are really a king. You a prince with the power. You've been running around in America loving a, a damn white slave, a, a caveman. Been looking up to a caveman, man. Give me, uh, give me Isaiah 14 and, and 12, man. Here's the problem with black people, man. You tell black people, man, white people are evil, man, and they'll come up against you, man. Like, black people got an a, a, a unconditional love for white people. Even when white people kill us and murder us. Everybody, every last one of y'all know white people can care less about you. But you still go right ahead and love the white man. All the white man got to do is come up in your neighborhood and give you a smile. And then you'll feel that he loves you. Let me see what you all say, brother. Yeah. The book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven? You hear that? He said, how art thou fallen from heaven? It ain't talking about the heaven that the Lord sits on. It's talking about this throne that the white man sits on. Right now, this is his heaven. You living in his heaven, and you dealing with hell on your, on your side of the block. You dealing with hell in your neighborhood. The same things that's going on in Southeast, it ain't equally going on in Georgetown, or in Bethesda, or in Friendship Heights. That ain't happening up there. Read it again. How art thou fallen? God is saying, how art thou fallen? Read. From heaven, O Lucifer. Talking about the white man. You thought the, you thought Lucifer was some, some uh, angel with a pitchfork looking all red with scaly skin and a tail. 
That ain't what this talking about, man. The white man is Lucifer. The white man is the devil. He's the one that been deceiving us. He's the one that been spilling all the land all over the earth. You ain't woke up. And he, and he had done it, and every last brother know How the hell? Every brother know he just stole all the natural resources all over the earth, man. How the hell we gonna wake up, man? Y'all knew about that when they invaded Iraq. Like he talking about he going in for weapons of mass of uh, 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 destruction. Come on, man. Everybody knew it was about oil money, man. Right. Everybody knew it, man. Whenever he going to a country, it's about natural resources. Why? Because he's Lucifer. Read. Oh, Lucifer, son of the morning. Son of the morning. Why? Why is the Lord saying the white man or Lucifer is the son of the morning? Because we think the white man is so great and wonderful. Just like you ever wake up in the morning and say, damn, the sun is out. It looks like it's going to be a wonderful day. So God is giving a metaphor comparing Lucifer, saying Lucifer looked like he's wonderful. He looked like the morning star. Read. How? Or that cut down, how is he going to be cut down? White man get ready to go there. And Trump know it. And they trying to finish and wipe us out. We think it's a joke. I remember back in the 80s, we was always talking about the King Alpha plan. The Negroes was talking about the Illuminati. All this other conspiracy garbage. But you don't see who's in office. Right. You, don't, you don't watch the videos of regular white people saying That's Trump right. is saying what we always felt right. that we talk about over the dinner table. Right. But you smile in front of white people's faces. <laughs> but when he lynched you, then you're going to talk about Black Lives Matter. Negroes be talking about Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Come on, man. Black, li black lives don't really matter to black people. You know what matters? A smile from white people, man. Acceptance from white people. That's what matters to black people, man. Because you can kill black people, you can drug black people, you can put them in prison, you can do whatever you want to black people, man. And black people will still love the white man, man. Like that's how that's how sweet we are, man. Read. To the ground. To win? To the ground. Which this weakened the nation. Which then weakens the nations. The white man, he didn't weaken the nation. Look at Africa. Look at Central America. Look at Mexico, man. Look at the state that you in. You've been in America for 400 years, and the Chinese that can't even speak English, that's carry outs all through your neighborhood, right. man. That's a bad sign. That's a bad hustle game. Like, you poor hustlers, man. Black people, you been poor hustlers, man. That's right. You know what I mean? Like, but y'all so slick and so wise and so bad to other brothers. But when it comes to this white man, we became a bunch of punks, man. We a bunch of punks in America. That's why you'll see videos of the Asians beating up on black women. You see an Arab beating up on a brother, talking about you stole something. And then you know what a brother will do to seeing it? Being a good punk, he'll pull out a phone and start filming it. I wish an Arab would beat one of my sisters in front of me while I'm in the store. I might break the brakes, I might beat the brakes off him, man. You don't understand, man. Niggas kill me, they pull out a cell phone. I'm like, God damn, you can't even, you won't even call the cops. We would rather film a sister getting beaten. That's what the black man becomes. That's why the black woman ain't respecting us. Because a lot of brothers is weak. What you say? Right, man. Come on, hey. Come on, man. Come on, man. Brother, right. You know, we would ally and all that with them 40, 70 fake versions, man. Nobody with that garbage, man. You, you niggas can't even get three different wives and, and keep them. Talking about 40 versions, please. Just lay out what kind of verses are you talking about? Isaiah 14 verse 13 For that, for that has said in that heart I will ascend into heaven The white man said in his heart That he gonna ascend unto heaven And he did that within the space shuttle He did that with the planes, the Wright brothers He did that Now black man, what did you do? Smile at the white man. Tell the white man, I'm gonna forget about slavery. I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna be a good. Basically, what you say is, I'm gonna be a good goddamn slave. Nat Turner would have killed half you Negroes, man. Straight up, Nat Nate, uh, Nat Turner would have killed. And listen, Harriet Tubman would have killed a lot of you Negroes, man. And I'm talking about black men because black men, you're not leading the damn charge. 
You two got that skin and too soft to lead a charge, man. Man, when you gonna lead a charge, man? You know what I mean? The day, the day should be over with holding a sign. Right, if it wasn't for Christ, man, we'll kill some of you sellouts, man. Get you out the way. Get you out the way. That's right. Like, we done forgot about brother selling out, man. All your black celebrities, every last one of your politicians ain't caring about black men that work. They ain't give a damn about us, man. Where are your black politicians at? In the hood. Where are all of them at? There ain't none of them come visit the brothers in the hood, man. Come on, man. And here's, and you know what's so funny, man? That black politicians, they come up and talk about, they talk about the crimes what white people did to us 10 years later. When the crime has already been gone and passed, and then they say, yeah, the CIA put drugs in our neighborhood 10 years later. Come on, man, we had crack babies being born. That's half the time you got all these demons, these brothers and sisters with demons. Because they, they was born addicted to drugs. Come on, man. Shalom, Israel. It's, it's going, going down. Down. It's that time again. Come join us at the 49th Annual Passover. Shalom, this is Captain Brock Design of the ISBK down here in Atlanta, Georgia. Inviting you to the ISBK's 49th Annual Passover. You understand? Passover this year will be held on March 30th at the Roosevelt Ballroom. It's the Second Hudson Street, Yonkers, New York. And we invite all blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians to this year's Passover in the spirit of brotherhood. That's what the Passover is about. That's what the ISBK is about. It's brotherhood. You understand? Me personally, I'm going to be bringing all of Atlanta, Georgia. Captain Molly Clark will be bringing out Chicago. Captain Godaha will be bringing out all of California. You understand? And we're going to get it in. We're going to get it in, in the spirit of brotherhood. And in the spirit of brotherhood, you understand? You can't fit the bill. You understand, Passover is $200 per person, per family. If you cannot fit that bill, Commander Jeremy Johanna will pay it for you. If you need help with transportation, Commander Jeremy Johanna will pay that for you. You understand, just contact your nearest camp leader or your captain in your city. You understand, like I said, I got Officer Yamiya here with me. I got Officer Tazad, Officer Abaria. You understand, and we gonna be bringing all of Atlanta, all of Georgia, to this year's Passover. Come on, March 30th at Sunday. All Israel is invited for the 49th annual feast of the Passover, brought to you by Commander General Yahana and the ISBK. So you better not miss it. Shalom.